كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم على آل سيدنا إبراهيم as you sent salat a peace to our leader Ibrahim alayhi salam and his family members innaka hamidum majid oh allah indeed you are worthy of praise indeed you are full of glory innaka hamidum majid allahumma barik ala muhammad ala ali muhammad allahumma barik barik means send blessings send blessings to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa ala ali Muhammad also to his family members kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim as you send baraka or blessings to Ibrahim alaihi salam and his family innaka hamidum majid indeed you are worthy of praise and full of glory clear alhamdulillah but if the meaning is clear, it's a good sign, we can move forward, but I have something to say. I could not tell you because time was short, when I was talking about Azan, I just finished the explanation. But in Malaysia, Indonesia, this place, you use the word Bilal, right? Yeah. Why? Because Bilal is the best example of Muazzin. In Arabic, the word is Muazzin. But in this place, you made Bilal as a synonym of Muazzin. Why? Because he is the best example, best model of Muazzin. What happened to him? Do you know that story? How many of you know the story of Bilal radiallahu anhu after the death, death of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? He went back. Then... Ya Allah, not came back. Omar Allah and sent some representatives and then he came. But what did he do? He denied to make azan. You know that? He said, no. He said, no, I will not make azan. Prophet is not here. Who will listen to my azan? Then the Sahabi said, no, Ya Bilal, we cannot make azan once you are here because you are the best muazzin. You are selected by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we don't I mean, I want to disrespect you, so you have to. Bilal radiallahu anhu started Azan. Allahu Akbar, no problem. La ashadu an la ilaha, no problem. Ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Could not finish the sentence, fall down. Because this is called love. Now we have all fake love, fake love, okay? Just very easy to say Sarah, that sentence, okay? But not the reality. Because Allah knows everything. If you love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, send more and more salawat to him. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Short form. But if you have time, if you are not driving or some other very easy, I mean very relaxed mood, then you can make long dua. But when you are driving, very, I mean, cannot concentrate. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Then you can add some more. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa barik wa sallim. Then you have many, I mean, much more time. Then you can do this salat or any other way. But do it frequently. Do it as much as you can. Because the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam replies, replies. You send salam, he replies, Allahu Akbar. How does it mean, Allahu Akbar? Look, if Prime Minister Najib is just walking, passing through me, and then I say salam, okay? Yeah, assalamu alaikum. As a foreigner, you maybe you have different opinion, but that is different. That is different. I'm not talking about politics. That is totally different. I will feel happy. Even my Facebook, before, for a long time, I had a picture with Tun Mahathir, okay? Because I met him in an international conference, and then I worked as a journalist at that time, okay, in a newspaper, so I interviewed him. Then I did not miss the chance. Sit I sat beside him and took the picture. Another reporter from NST sent me the picture to WhatsApp, then I put it in my Facebook. Yeah, Allah, it was very demanding, because in Bangladesh, we respect Tun a lot, okay? because of his uh, successful journey. Anyway, so we feel happy, right? 
Ya Allah, when Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replies to your salam, you are so lucky. So don't miss the chance. Not only the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah replies to you. How? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, if you send salam to me, Allah will send same to you ten times. Not only the reply. Not only the reply, I just said to him, how are you? Oh, you are Shahid al -Hak. I saw your face, all this. Then I will be happy, right? Not only the reply, ten more sentences, ten, repeatedly. Ya Allah, don't miss the sons. So whenever you get the chance, you walk. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. 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 اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد what will happen what will happen you don't know you don't know what can happen because if Allah becomes happy to you you don't know what he is going to do what is you know your plan only but how Allah designed the plan you don't know I came to Malaysia to study right but what happened to me ya Allah Many, many programs, Ustaz, the director of Masjid, he is assigned to make dua for any program, minister comes. But Shahid, when I was just a new student, UIA, the director sent me, Shahid, you go. Ya Allah, because this is Allah's plan, not my plan. Director, he is a very important person, right? He is assigned to go there, but he sent me to perform the dua. So please, 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 don't calculate everything by your narrow calculation, okay? Send salawat, make dua a lot, lot. Allahumma a'inna ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. Allah will do according to his plan. And your plan may not be successful, but Allah's plan will be successful. So send more and more salat to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Lot of things to say about salat, but I don't have the time. I just tell you the story of Imam Busiri. Have you heard the name of Imam Busiri? Rahimahullah. Qasida Burda. Have you heard Qasida Burda? No. You know already. But maybe you don't know the name of Busiri or Burda. But you already know. I recite then you will say. Maulaya salli wa sallim daiman abada ala Habibika khayril khalqi kulli imi Mawlaya salli wa sallim daiman abada Ala habibika khayril khalqi kulli imi This is Qasida Burda. You already know this one, right? So this is Qasida Burda. What happened to him? He was paralyzed. He was, I mean, he has some disease. That whole skin is gone, okay? I mean, and the smell in very bad condition. He was about to die. He was on the bed, okay? Lying on the bed. Just, he was thinking that maybe he will pass away very quickly. Very, I mean, weak, sick for a long time. Before he dies, he thinks that, okay, I do something for the Prophet Sallallahu Because he was also alim, great alim also. And at that moment, there was no, like, new, this modern hospital. What did he do? He wrote this poetry for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Shayat. Okay, Mawlaya Sallallahu Wasallam. Then, who al Habibu Ladi Turja Shafatuhu? What happened to him? He put, after writing, he put under the pillow, and then he slept. Prophet Sallallahu came to him in dream. And then this dream became the reality. How? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam brought his shawal. You know that uh, 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 is a uh, burda. Burda is in uh, English, what is the? Burda. Burda is, yeah, like this. So the Prophet Sallallahu used to use uh, the one from Yemen. You know, that's why it's called Yemeni, okay? Burda Yemeniya, okay? 
exactly are the Prophet used because he is alim. He saw, yeah, it is not mine. It is not from anywhere. It is really from Prophet Sallallahu He wake up. But Buddha is still on his body. Ya Allah. And he started to be very strong. No more disease, no paralysis. Finished, done. Over. And this news spread all over that area. Even the king of that area called him to give. He said, no, no, no. It is gift from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I cannot give to anybody, even you are the king. He denied. And then, until he died, he was very strong, healthy, no problem. This is just all a story. Thousands of stories about Salat ala Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Thousands of stories. I'm a little girl, I just tell you. The parents taught he had to send salawat. You know the children, they don't know the meaning. So just play Allahumma salli ala sayyidina The children will do like that, okay? You taught, you teach anything, even the meaning is negative, they sing that song, right? Mm, all this. So this daughter of a, 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 in an area, Allahumma salli ala sayyidina Muhammad. Play, play, just play. On Big Sheikh came to uh, that area, and then it was the uh, oct of Asur time, Asur time, okay, Salat Asur. And then he was searching for water. But he found a well, okay, a bit well, okay, but he could not, I mean, take it, take the water because it is deep, very deep, and then there is no any rope, anything to take it, uh, I mean, up, there is no way. Then the shaykh was uh, walking, walking around, and then when the shaykh found this uh, girl, she, uh, he asked her, uh, uh, do you know any place or any, any, any way to take it up? He said, yes, I know. Then he said, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. The shaykh did not understand immediately. He was just playing. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Very quickly, water came up. Who made the water came up? Not the girl, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah loved the sound of even this small girl. So, the shaykh was shocked. Shaykh was shocked to see this. Oh, I am a big shaykh. But how did I send salawat to Allah Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? That I failed, but this small girl, girl is successful. He learned a lot from this small girl. So this is just two stories. But if you read the book about salawat, Allah Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you can know more and more. And it can happen to you also, okay? So please, please, please do and before you realize that how much is it, how is it important. For example, before I went to Umrah, I did not realize. When I went, I really found myself guilty. That's why I made my own salawat like this. Allah, just I, I will tell you in translation. It's not like Vida, just to make me happy, I mean, because I feel guilty. I said, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin adada ma taraktu fi hayati. Oh Allah, send salawat to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the number I forgot in my past life. Because that was my fault. I forgot to send salawat. Oh Allah, all the numbers, all the time I forgot to send salawat to him. Oh Allah, send salawat to him. You will realize it if you really get the test of salawat. So that's why I also advise, I also request all of you to make it is, as your habit to get mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Send more and more salawat to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it doesn't take long time. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Inshallah, the young people, you have to do it to make your brain fresh, free from shaitan, free from other, other pressure. Other all these connections because if you send salawat, your brain will be free from shaitanic aswasa. Okay, shaitan cannot give you aswasa or shaitan cannot give you this provocation when anybody sends salawat to Prophet. Please, please, please make it as your habit. So, may Allah give us the fix. Amen. Amen. Now, we have, we have some verbs. 
still some more changes. Wajada. Wow in the beginning, page number 60. And I'm pulu. Okay? So, wajada. Wajada. Oh, we have also, oh no, first one is wada. Do you know the meaning of wada? Promise. Okay, wadun means promise. Can I check? Riskun means? Okay. Nasrun means? Fathun means? Makfira means? Rahman means? Dukhul means? Excellent. Well done. Really, I'm so happy. I will cry for you more, inshallah. Okay, I will not tell you I am for you, I will cry for you, inshallah. Okay? Wajada. 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 Okay, what is the meaning of wajada? To find. In Bahasa Malayu, you have also wujud, right? But wujud is existence, right? Yeah, but in Arabic, two meaning. One is to ex exist, another meaning is to find, okay? To find, wajada. Walada. Walada. We already learned it, right? In Surah Ikhlas. Okay, walada. But is only for sentence. Again, like kafara, maybe you will be astonished. Why walada? Okay, just to learn the pattern, not for the real sense, okay? So, wa'ada, we start with wa'ada. Wa'ada, help me again, just you continue. Okay? Okay, then? So, so now uh, you finish Oada, right? Then Wajada and then Walada with this Ustaz. Ustaz Apanama? Ustaz Saif. Ustaz Saif will do this practice to help you. No, it's okay. You are young, so I don't want to disturb. Okay, so this one, I am coming back. By this time, you can also have a look with other meaning. So that, because time is very close to test you. Okay, so be ready. With all this practice, I will come back within 2-3 minutes. And by this time, you just pra practice with Ustaz. And also have a look. Okay, Inshallah. Inshallah, kita sambung dengan wajada. Teruskan. Okay, 
surat 6, 53 Sekali lagi sekali Dorobah reciting before salam in salat so it's not mandatory for me to discuss now because I said that salat salat but the dua is from hadith dua is from hadith and very important dua so whether you practice in your salat or not it is not the issue you learn it and then you practice other time you respect your ulama who taught you another way never mind but you decide the dua other time. What is the meaning? Look. Allahumma inni zalamtu nafsi zulman kaseera wa la yaghfiru zunuba illa anta faghfili maghfiratan min indika warhamni innaka anta al-ghafoor al-rahim Very emotional dua. It will make you cry. 
Allahumma, O oh Allah, inni zalamtu, indeed I have wronged myself. Means, why we say wrong myself? For example, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, In ahsantum, ahsantum li anfusikum. Wa in asa'tum, wa in asa'tum, falaha. If you do good deeds, in ahsantum, ahsantum li anfusikum. Now you get the test, right? Ahsantum li anfusikum. You at least try to understand, right? Alhamdulillah, it's a good sign. If you do good deeds, you are doing for yourself. Because Allah don't mind, Allah don't care. Allah doesn't need it. Okay? So whatever you do good deeds, you are doing for yourself. And if you do something bad, that is also you are doing against yourself. You understand? So we make dua, we say, inni zalam tu nafsi. Meaning that whatever the sins we committed, it's against ourselves. You kill somebody, actually you are killing yourself. Maybe you are killing somebody from this dunya, maybe he, he, he could I mean, stay for another 20 years, for example, but you did not, I mean, you forced him to go now, for example, okay? But you are putting yourself forever in Jahannam. Man qatala mu'minan muta'ammidan fajaza'uhu Jahannam. If anybody kills anybody willingly, not in the battle, not anywhere, without any, any kisas or any other issue, Jahannam, final. So, you do something wrong, actually you are doing against yourself. Clear? Allahumma, O oh Allah, inni zalam tu nafsi. I did wrong things, wrong or mistakes with myself. Zulman kasira. We did a lot of mistakes, lot of wrong deeds. Wala yaghfiru zunuba illa anta. There is no one who can forgive me. Illa anta. Forgive the sins. Illa anta. Except you. Nobody can forgive the sins except you. Because, for example, okay, please forgive me, forgive me. Yes, okay, okay, no problem, never mind. But he is not the one for final judgment. Maybe he is not happy, but only to maintain the social relationship, he said, okay, 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 Bolila, no problem. But actually, problem. He is not happy. Okay? So Allah knows about his heart, condition. So Allah will catch you on the day of judgment. Okay? So why you did it? It's no answer. Cannot do anything. Because Allah knows everything. Okay? So, Allah yaghfiru zunuba illa anta. Nobody can forgive my sins except you. Allah yaghfiru zunuba illa anta. Faghfirli. Oh Allah, so forgive me. Faghfirli. Maghfiratam min indika. Out of your special forgiveness. Is focusing on Maghfirat Amina Indika. From your own special forgiveness, special power of forgiving, forgive me. Maghfiri, Maghfirat Amina Indika, Warhamni. O Allah, also show me mercy, show mercy on me, okay? Inna kantal Ghafoorur Rahim. Indeed, you are of forgiving and most merciful. What is the meaning of Rahman? Intense. Intensely merciful. What is the meaning of Rahim? Continuously merciful. Inshallah. Now we have another word. In the who? In the who? In the whom? In the ka? In the kum? In the? In the na? In the ha? What is the meaning of in the? Near. Close. Okay? Or with also sometimes of near. 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 In the. Okay? So I am with him or near him. In the who? Again, again, again. One time more. In the who? In the who? In the ka? In the who? Okay. In the who? Again, again. In the who? In the whom? In the ka? In the who? In the? Excellent, well done. Okay, because we already practiced. Lago, lago, 
Rabbuhu Rabbuhum, so I think it's okay. Kindly open page number 64, okay? So, Kala. Kala. Masha'Allah. Kala we already learned many times, right? Let's practice together. It's better if I open the slide, just give me a minute. Kala, because I have to discuss a little. Yes, I have some discussion. <laughs> okay, Kala. Kala. I will open only this slide, then 19, it will be okay. I will just from the book is okay. Okay, look, 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 look. Be careful, be attentive. Time is coming for tests, inshallah. <laughs> ya Allah. Just make more and more stiffer, more and more. <laughs> okay, look. Do you notice any changes here? Yes. What are the changes? Before we learned three letters of Mahdi, right? Nasara, Zahaba, Samia, Ghafara, Rahima, all was three, right? But now we have three, but not normal. It's a little bit changed. Why? Who can tell me why it is changed? We have vowel, right? In English we have vowel, A-E-I-O-U, right? In Arabic we, all, we have also vowel. So, Arabic vowel, what are Arabic vowels? You can tell me. Alif, wow, yeah. Alif, wow, yeah. So if you have alif, wow, yeah in the root word, then it can be changed when it is necessary. Look. Qawala, actually it is qawala. Actual form is qawala. Qawala, actual form is qawala. So, if you say qawala, is it easy or to say qawala is easy? Qala Qala Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam easy. Because if any letter, any harf illa comes after Fatha, it's very easy to pronounce by Alif. Qawala, then no need to say Qawala, Qawala. Because it is Fatha. It is Dhamma, then O. Dhamma is very familiar with O. Okay, very easy to pronounce. No. La Tafa, No. You observe? Very easy. But for after Fatha, Alif is very easy. After Kasa, Ya is very easy to pronounce, pronounce, okay? That's why we will not say Kawala. We will say Kawala. Just Kawala, okay? So Kawala, Kawalu. Then Kawala also same pattern. But in the middle four, this four you look. Kulta, Kulta, Kultu. Kul tu, kul na, kala. Again kala. Look, maybe you can ask me, Ustaz, why it is kulta, why not palta? It can come to your mind, right? Yeah, because before we say kala, now I say kul, kulta, right? Why? I tell you again, it will be clear. What should be the basic form? No, for the second person? Second person singular. From Kawala, start with Kawala. Kawalta, Kawalta. Look, now, if you follow this style, Kawala, if you want to make it like Kawala, then what will happen? There will be problem. Look, if you want to say like it was Kawalta, right? Kawalta. If you want to give make here alif, I show you the problem. Ah, two sukun cannot pronounce, cannot be pronounced in Arabic. It's tough. Now what happened? It became kalta. Kalta. Another difficulty, okay? So what do we do? We just say kulta kultum. Kultu kulna. Very easy. Because if you add you follow comes this fatha, then you have to say kalta. So two sukun cannot come together. That's why we remove it. Okay, we change by dhamma. Kulta. Easy. Kulta. Kulta. Kultum. Kultu. Kulna. Kulta. This is little bit higher. Don't worry. Don't cry. The, I told you. Just, right, that's all. Finish. Just write down. Little bit higher. 
but I felt shy to leave the point. Okay, at least I told you the young people will remember, inshallah, at least. Other they will cry. Okay, cool that. Tell me, Bismillah. Cool that, cool do, cool do, cool na, call up. Again, again. Call up, call up. Cool that, cool do, cool do. Mudane, Yakulu, Yakulu, Yakuluna, Tapulu, Apulu, Tapulu, Apulu, Apulu, Tapulu. Then Amor, Kul, Amor, Kul. Why? Why? What is the actual form? Who can tell me what is the actual form of Amor of Kawala? Oh, oh, you are also shocked. Oh, sir, so what happened to you? Oh, yeah, oh, sir, oh, yeah, Allah, you, everybody will leave the room very quickly. It's so tough, Arabic. That's why Allah made it easy. Kulia, you will come, you road. Kul, Allah, no more, no need to say, oh, oh, okay, Hamza difficult, wow, also difficult. So Allah changed in the Quran, so all the grammarians also change in the Arabic grammar, okay? Very easy formula. Kul. Kul hu Allah hu ahad kuliya. But actual form is wuh wul. Wuh wul. We deleted Hamza, we deleted wa. Finish. Kul, kulu, la taqul, la taqulu. Also la taqbul. La taqbul. La tan sur. Then we change it. La taqul. Easy, easy. La taqul, la taqulu, la taqul, la taqulu. Qa'il, maqul, qawlu. Qa'il, maqul, qawlu. Go to the prayer, okay, no, so we have another word, qama. Now is the dua time, inshallah, very quickly we finish and then make dua. Qama, 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 qamu, kumta, kumtum. Kum tu, koma. Well done. Ya kumu, na kumu, na kumu, na kumu, na kumu. Well done. Then, kum, kum, la na kum, la na kum. Then, koim. Makum is not used. Makum also not used. Like sober maskul, no, no use. Makum also not used, okay? Kiyamun. Kiyamun lay. Have you heard Kiyamun lay? Yeah. Ya Allah. So it's Basara. Or Basamala, I don't know. Ya Allah. <laughs> okay, kindly. Page number, page number 67. Because the dua, I will discuss when I will start dua. The page number 19 is about dua, Rabbana Adina. Maybe inshallah later on I will talk about it, okay? Or I can talk now, because we don't have enough time to talk about dua. Okay, I talk now. Bismillah. Rab, a'udhu billahi wa shaitan wa bismillah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, wa fi al-akhirati hasana, wa khina adaban naar. Rabbana, O my Lord, O our Lord, atina, give us fi dunya hasana, in this dunya hasana. Give us hasana in this dunya. I will explain what is hasana in this dunya. Afil akhirati hasana. And also give us hasana in akhira. Clear? Now I have to explain what is hasana in this dunya. Hasana in this dunya, there are a lot of explanation in, in tafsir. Some ulama, especially Ali radiallahu ta'ala who gave this tafsir, hasana, Good wife. Who said? Ya Allah, you already know. Alhamdulillah. Why? Because even some ulama say it's like misfuddin. If you don't have very good relationship, you can destroy, you can be misguided, you can commit bad deeds. Okay? So, very important, I mean, this relationship in our family. Okay? So, that's why Ali Radha said it's good wife, it's not only good wife, the opposite one. For example, if the sisters make dua, Rabbana Adina Fit Dunya, with the intention that, I mean, she needs someone suitable, then also okay, no problem. So this is our explanation. Another explanation of Hasana is, 
all the risky, all the properties, all the sustenance that you need to live in this dunya is hasana, in halal way. So, in this dua, you are asking everything for your life, Allah Akbar. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? And maximum ulama, maximum mufassirun say this. Whatever we need in this dunya is included in the word hasana. Allah Akbar. That's why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam making tawaf. Aru akta rukni yamani. Rabbana atina bid dunya hasana. Wa fil akhirati hasana. Wa kina adabanna. Very important dua. Believe me, very important dua. You are asking for everything what you need in this dunya. You are also asking for everything what you need in Akhirah. What do you need in Akhirah? We need Jannah. That is the final destination. Okay? So, Allah, if Allah gives you everything in dunya in halal way and finally Jannah in Akhirah, you are successful. Okay, some people will go to Jannah after getting a little taste of Jahannam, Ya Allah. But it is, even it is little, not little, it's too much. Okay, it's so high, it's so dangerous, okay? So, that's why Allah taught as another technique, another, another lesson, another poem. Okina, zabanna. Wallah, we are very weak. You will not be able to tolerate this punishment. So, okina, zabanna. What does it mean? It means that you are asking for everything you need in dunya, akhirah, everywhere. So, even if you recite every single day, 30 times, 40 times, 100 times, 1000 times, and finally Allah becomes very soft, okay, this became already, you know, very dedicated, so that's why I, ask, I, I accept his dua. Thousand times is not the issue. Millions of times is not the issue. You are solving your problem for whole life. Dunya, after everything is final, finished, done, complete. You are successful. You are successful. That's why I told you, take it seriously. Dua, mukhul ibadah. Dua is the gist of your ibadah. You pray, we have dua. And you go to hajj, dua, dua. Hajj is completely dua. You make tawab, dua, sa'i, dua, 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 dua. So we have dua, after, before iftar, dua, during the time of suhoor, dua, 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 dua. You have zakat also, you have dua. You take your food, dua, Allah mubarik lana fi, fi ma razak lana, dua, dua, dua. So take it seriously. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. وفي الآخرة حسنة وخنا عذاب النار ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وخنا عذاب النار clear clear the meaning please please now meaning is clear you try to make your heart clean and clear so that it will be connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very quickly, very strong connection. May Allah give us that tawfiq. Say Ameen. Ameen. We go to another dua that is dua from hadith. Dua from hadith. Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. Allahumma a'inni. What is the meaning of a'inni? Help me. Allahumma a'inni. Oh Allah, help me. Allahumma a'inni. Oh Allah, help me. You are talking to whom? Allah. You are talking to Allah. If Allah helps you, you will be Zakinai, you will be Abdurrahman as Sumai, you will be Sumaya, you will be Khadija, you will be Asya, you will be another one, okay, that is highly respected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, getting a lot of mercy, okay, so try to be that one. Oh Allah, help me. 
to perform my ibadah nicely, to remember you perfectly. Allahumma a'inni wa Allah help me ala zikrika in my zikr, in my remembrance of you. When I remember, allow me to remember you the more, more and more. Wa shukrika. Also allow me to show my gratefulness to you. Okay? Wa husni ibadatik. Also allow me to perform the ibadah in the best way. Best way, not normal way, best way. Husni ibadatik. Husni ibadati. Allahumma a'inna ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadati. Allahumma a'inna ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadati. Allahumma a'inna ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadati. Okay, so Aini. Aini. What is the meaning of Aini? Aini. Help me. Aini. Oh Allah, help me. Tolong saya. Okay. Oh Tuhan, tolong saya. Help me. Okay. To correct. Good. Okay, inshallah. So be sincere. Be serious. Be serious. Oh Allah, help me. Oh Allah, help me. Amma tawfiqi illa billa. There is help us. Help us is na. Aina. Aina. Okay? So, please, the more you are sincere, you will get more mercy. May Allah give us tawfiq. Say, Ameen. Time is coming for test. Be ready. Be ready, inshallah. You can make this dua. I already taught you the dua. So, before the test, you say, Allahumma inni ala zikri ka shubdi ka hosni ayiba. Then, inshallah, Allah will make it easy. We have another two words. Very quickly, look at page number 67. Look page at page number 67. Kana. Kana. Kanu. Kunta. Kuntu. Kuntu. Kunna. Kana. Yakunu. Yakununa. Takunu. Takununa. Akunu. Nakunu. Takunu. Kun. Kunu, la takun, la takunu. Ka in, makun also not coming, okay? Ka on, ka in, ka on, ka in, ka on. Taba, taba, alhamdulillah, we will make taba together and then make dua, inshallah, okay? Taba, taba, tabu, tubu, ta, tubu, 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 na, taba. Yatubu, yatubuna. Tatubu, tatubuna. Atubu, tatubu. Well done, well done, alhamdulillah. Then, tub, tubu. La tatub, taib, taubatu. Matub is not used. Matub is used, but for another reason, another. Ilallahi matuba, that is different meaning. Not a specific form, okay? That is different meaning, okay? So that's why we say ta'ib ta'ba. Ta'ib ta'ba. Everybody say alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Laka alhamdulillah, ya Rab. Laka alhamdulillah, ya Rab. Kama yambagi li jalali wajhika. Wa azim sultani. لك الحمد يا رب لك الحمد يا رب Look now after WB pages after WB pages we have we have WB 46 46 after WB 46 I give you a gift okay because all my participants alhamdulillah at least make my make dua for me not only dua, a lot of other facilities I am getting from you. Your honor, your dua, your help, your support. Alhamdulillah, it's a great. I cannot step because, stop because of you. Any program, five more people start program, okay, like this. I forgot to ask your plan and I don't have the time. But did you make any plan? How many of you already thought about your plan? 
Just raise the hand. If I see at least one and two and I will be happy. <laughs> okay, just tell me. You have? Okay, tell me, Bismillah. Uh, my plan is I want to learn Quran, to teach Quran, understand Quran, and follow what they teach and what to avoid what is not for them. Alhamdulillah, at least he, I mean, she tried to make her own plan, okay? Anyone? Okay, done. Alhamdulillah, because we have, we are out of time. Okay, so inshallah, because for dua at least we need fifteen to or ten to fifteen minutes. Okay, so this is a gift for you, fifty percent. Okay, fifty percent you completed, right? Next week, next week, next weekend, 